Electronic circuit boards are the brain of every inverter. Equipped with thousands of components, some of them extremely small, they perform all of the energy conversion, control and monitoring functions. Utilizing the strength of our more than 500 engineers, we manage all phases of circuit board manufacturing from concept to production in our factory located in Kassel, Germany. In this film, we want to show you the production process. It takes place in three main steps. First, SMD assembly. Sensitive components, some very small, such as resistors or diodes, are placed automatically onto the surface of the board. This is called the SMD assembly, for surface-mounted device. Second, THT assembly. Larger components, such as capacitors or coils, are assembled by hand, using through-hole technology. The components are positioned with their leads through corresponding holes. Then they are soldered onto the circuit board. Third, test and coating. After the assembly is completed, the circuit board is electrically tested with a special testing adapter. Once it has passed various tests, the board is finally coated with a protective layer. Currently, there are four assembly lines in operation, with a total placement capacity of 230,000 components per hour. At this pace, we produce a new circuit board about every 30 seconds. Between the production stages, each board is checked with automatic optical inspection procedures. In total, 10 optical inspection machines ensure that our high quality standards are met during the whole production process. Now let's take a closer look at the three steps of production. Starting with the SMD assembly. First, solder paste is applied on the board with a solder paste printer. A template ensures that the application of the paste is limited to the points where the SMD components will be placed. Afterwards, the board enters the assembly machine, where SMD components are placed automatically. They are loaded into the machines in reels, similar to film reels. Typical SMD components are resistors, diodes, transistors or integrated circuits. The smallest of these components are about the size of a pencil point. Therefore, the machines operate precisely, but also extremely fast. Each one of the two insertion heads can place up to 60 components per second. To accomplish this, they save time by carrying a supply of up to 20 components in a rotary magazine. This allows them to place several components without having to retrieve another one each time. After every component is placed, the board passes through a 23-foot-long furnace. A temperature of 500 degrees Fahrenheit causes the solder in the spreadable soldering paste to liquefy. Now the SMD components are bonded firmly to the board. Since inspecting small SMD components with the naked eye is not possible, SMA uses an industrial image processing system known as automatic optical inspection to check the predefined parameters quickly and precisely. During each test, 80 images are captured using a special camera. The system then compares these images with reference data in memory, so as to determine possible deviations. In doing so, about 1,600 attributes are checked. The next big step is the THT assembly. The placing of the larger components is accomplished by hand, but also with the greatest precision. At each workstation, a screen shows the exact position and number of the parts to be mounted.
once completed, the board is placed in a matching transport frame. An RFID module on the frame allows the subsequent systems to recognize each type of circuit board automatically. An example of this is the second optical inspection, which SMA is the only inverter manufacturer to apply before the second soldering procedure. Here, about 160 attributes are checked in addition. And if one of the larger components is not correctly in place, this can still be easily rectified. Now the THT components are soldered onto the circuit board. In the wave soldering system, the board is moved slowly over a wave of liquid solder at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Here, the wire connections inserted through the board are bonded firmly to the circuit board. Last step, test and coating. Once cool, each board is electrically checked. Are all of the components in their place? Are they the correct values? Does the board perform electronically? For each type of circuit board, there is a matching testing device, a rack with up to 800 fine contact pins. When closed, the pins touch corresponding contact points on the board so that currents or testing signals can be applied and measured. Once the test is completed, the individual firmware is uploaded to the circuit board's memory. Lastly, each board is coated with a protective layer on both sides. The liquid coat of lacquer looks thick going on, but when dry, it will be about the thickness of a human hair. The coating protects the board from dust and moisture and prepares it for a service life of more than 20 years. After drying, the different types of circuit boards are packed into carts and await their further processing, be it in the assembly lines nearby or in Denver, Colorado. Based on these carefully manufactured products, SMA inverters remain the top choice for solar professionals around the world.